qui a ses cieux là. You know, the motor on the, uh, yeah. the hole is ready to go. It's really I know. because of where the... Uh, what, the Valenian? Yeah. Yeah, I, do, I wouldn't... Oh, oh yeah, yeah. the dust. I'm going to put this motor in there, and I'll probably get a castle or something on the year. Yeah, definitely castle if you're still going around the track, because they still do a lot of good waterproofing. Oh, it's a speed run? Yeah. You, yeah, a lot of people have great success with castles. Yeah. I, I think the castle probably is... Could I run a fork in the castle? Uh, it depends. If you get the 2650 kV, you could probably run up to... I think that's rated at 4S, but you could probably still run it higher. Or if you get the 2200, you could run that at 6S. But you don't have to run a 6 cell. You could still run a 3 cell and gear higher. But you just got to make sure that you have an ESC that could take the amp draw. You know, because the motor will be higher performance than that ESC, the Valenian ESC that you have. Okay. All right. See, if, now if you get an XLX, you won't have to worry. <laughs> it's what's running in that. It's what a bunch of really fast guys run. You know, it's really robust. It's got data logging. So it's, you can really see exactly what's going on as you run. You know, that's why I have my computer out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I went to uh, Markham the other day, too. Yeah. The quadcopter, it's such a huge field, it's so nice. Here you come. That was a cleaner, cleaner pass. Yeah, not bad for a test day. Came back in one piece. Yeah, see how it's drifting off a little bit. I have to replace the uh, the bell crank bushings because all these cars have the bushings with the bearings. Alright, let's see what that was. 118. Not bad for a practice run. Mm -hmm. 